Hi everyone, my name is Andy Smith and uh, welcome to your day devotion today. Well done for putting God first, well done for putting some time in today to spend some time with God. Uh, and today I want to look at a Bible verse we use every week actually in our church. It's Proverbs 11 verses 24, uh, but we're going to look at 25 as well. Um, this is from the message paraphrase, so um, here we go. Proverbs 11, 24 to 25, the world of the generous gets larger and larger. The world of the stingy gets smaller and smaller. The one who blesses others is abundantly blessed. Those who help others are helped. We're used to seeing this verse on our uh, giving envelopes, our offering envelopes on a Sunday, and they should rightfully be there. Uh, it's talking about being generous. And one of the ways we are generous is with our giving, with our, with our money. And... Um, in Proverbs, for, in, in Proverbs 11 from verse 17 onwards, it's this area uh, of Proverbs, they, it's got a subtitle uh, called A God-Shaped Life. And I think it's a good space to, to be looking at as I want a God-shaped life. I don't know about you guys. Um, but as I was reading these verses, I was thinking about it in the concept, in the, in the kind of the way of thinking about community, not just about money, and thinking about how actually when you're new somewhere, community is really difficult. Finding some people that you, you resonate with and that you want to do life with and like I know people that have moved to the area that are finding community is not easy to find but actually um even though they want to find it like I remember when I moved to Manchester from London six seven years ago we knew people but we didn't feel that we had community and it took a while to do that but we actually had to as uh, Karis and I had to invest our time and our effort into creating community so we we made sure we were there every Sunday we made sure we got part of a small group we made sure we were serving on different teams and our investment, our generosity of our time and our effort actually yielded the fact that our world did get larger and larger. I can attest to the fact that our world has got larger because we were generous with our time and our efforts and giving to the church, not just financially, but actually with our time. And I just want to uh, encourage you, really, that, that um, you living a generous life, you living a life of blessing others actually does yield something um, back not just for yourself it's not just about getting something for you but actually um, your world growing larger could mean you find someone that you never knew you would be great friends with and all of a sudden becomes an ally and, and it's, it's awesome um, but I've got two thoughts and challenges today uh, because as Karis and I we well actually we've been married 12 years uh, as of August and we do this thing every year where we go out for a meal together and we put this like note on our phone and we reflect back on what's happened that year what's been good what's been hard what's been exciting and we write it down and we reflect back on all the years before and every year the meal gets slightly longer because we have another year to add on to it and talk about everything that's gone on and um, we just were conscious actually that every time that we blessed people that we just can look back and say hey we blessed someone here wow, God blessed us this way and this way and this way. And I just want to just say to you, like, you know, God's word is true. And when he says that uh, if you bless others, you will be blessed. I just want to attest to the fact that is that has been true in my life, it's been true in Karis's life, and it can be true in your life as well. So I've got two sort of thoughts and challenges today for two different groups of people. First of all, is if you're new to this church community and to our family, um, welcome. We love you. Welcome to the family. Um, but you're finding that, like, you know, the community side of it isn't there for you. I want to encourage you to do those three things. I want, you to, I want to encourage you to turn up to church on a regular basis and not just turn up and then try and leave as quick as possible at the end. But actually try and get to know some people, get yourself to connections, get yourself engaged with, with what's going on. Number two is... Uh, join a small group get yourself involved in a small group and join a team as well I honestly can't tell you enough how that changed Karis and I's life and our involvement and investment into into our church and our world did genuinely get larger and larger and my second thought is if you are here as a person that has been in our church for a long time or you feel like you've got good community around you I want to challenge you how can you be a blessing to others in this coming few weeks is it that you see someone with a new person's bag and you actively go up and say, hi, welcome. What can I do for you? Have you, you know, what small group are you in? What have you, are you serving on a team? Hey, come join a team with me. Actually, it'd be great to get to know you. Hey, how, how about let's go out for a coffee next week? Let's do something. Why don't we do something outside of our comfort zone to bless others? And uh, I believe that that will be a blessing for them. And it might also be, you might also be the answer to their prayer they've been praying for for, for weeks and weeks. Hey, church. Have a great rest of your day, whether you're seeing this in the evening or the morning. We love you. We, uh, we think you're great. And uh, I'll catch you soon.